and still being jobless sounds scary. Before you spend your next 4 years and lakhs of rupees on BSc CSIT, they might not get hired in the first place, grow your tech career or completely waste your time. 4 years on coding, database, AI, calculus, DSA. <laughs> Before you spend your next 4 years and lakhs of rupees on BSc CSIT, listen carefully because this degree can either grow your tech career or completely waste your time. Just imagine grinding 4 years on coding, database, AI, calculus, DSA, lots and lots of theories, sleepless exam preps and still being jobless. Sounds scary right? Because that is the reality of many CSIT graduate that we see almost everywhere. In 2025, just having a CSIT degree won't guarantee you anything. The market has changed and if you are not aware of the brutal truth, you will waste your time. Much most students who join CSIT in Nepal have no idea what they are getting into. Some succeed and land amazing job while others drop and just end up stuck with just a piece of paper. Alright, let's talk about the BSc CSIT curriculum cause this is where many students get shocked after they join. Curriculum and Foundation you are going to deal with mathematics, discrete structure, stat and numerical method. And trust me, this is where many students fail. If you hate math, you will struggle. But here is the thing, without math, forget AI, forget DSA, your brain just won't be wired for it. You will start with C, C++ in OOP, DSA, Python in AI, Web Development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, XML, PHP, .NET in C Sharp and Advanced Java. Sounds great but classes mostly gives you syntax not problem solving. If you don't practice on your own, you will graduate knowing how to write hello world without solving real world problems. You will learn SQL database super important for real world projects. Almost every company apps runs on data. If you just understand query for the sake of giving exam, you will know the theory but will lack on practical skills. Theory AB subjects like computer network, operating system, compiler design, TOC, DAA, these are the subjects students find boring and just cram it just before the exam. But these are the subjects that will turn you from an coder to an actual engineer. A CSIT degree won't spoon feed you, it's tough and outdated at time. You will pass the exam just by cramming, which is again easier than depth understanding. But again, if you push beyond the syllabus and actually connect the dot, you will build a foundation strong enough to compete anywhere. If not, this foyer will feel like a torture and at the end of the day, you will just have a piece of paper left. Intrinsic reality check. Listen carefully cause I am not sugar coating on this. Intrinsic won't fall in your lap. If you think attending lectures and submitting assignment is enough, think again. Companies don't care about your marks, attendance or two syllabus. They care what you can actually build. If your CV is empty, no LinkedIn, no GitHub, no projects or exposure to real world, congratulations you are invisible. You will send applications and hear nothing back. You will see your friends landing internship and wonder why you are still stuck. Internship reward one who have grind enough if you are not doing coding for fun, building projects, contributing to open source from second to third year, you are already late to the race. By the time you realize it, the market is small, good positions are gone and you will just left scrambling like everyone else who procrastinated. Let's talk about placement. Private colleges I have been counseled into often guarantee internship and placement but don't get your hope high, these are just a strategy to get you admission there. Your environment saves your future as much as your effort. If you are into college that pushes you forward into coding event competitions and encourage you to join tech clubs, helps you build projects, you will get ahead of 90% of your peers. Soft skills and communication. Coding alone won't get you jobs. A person can be excellent in coding and designing, but if they lack in delivering ideas, collaborating and working as a team, they might not get hired in the first place just because your interviewer isn't convinced. Communication, teamwork and collaboration matters more than anything. Most people fail interview just not because of coding round but because they cannot articulate their ideas better and lack in behavioral skills.
Nepali job market is small and extremely competitive. It's better to know your path early whether you want to be in software development, AI, machine learning, DevOps, cloud, cyber security. Without having clear direction, you will just switching your job from one entry level to another, confused and frustrated. This is the reality check that you need to know before entering CSIT or any IT field and this is something very authentic and close to my heart as myself being a student I too have faced it a lot and do let me know if you want to see more of this kind of video until then I'll see you in my next one bye